next comic coming up. I'm not sure if he's ever been to Wegmans. Very funny man. Oh, yes. Please give it up for Selwyn. Yeah. What's going on, DC? Come on, village. I love this place. Hey, uh, we'll try a little something different today. It's a little smoker's thoughts. Damn, if the shit will go. Anyway, if we call flies flies, do they call us locks? <laughs> I'm just saying. If you're deaf and you appear in court, is it still a court hearing? Is it now a court scene? I'm just saying. All right, you know. If the king of the jungle catches a flight, is he lying or is he flying? I, I believe that he's flying. If a deaf person farts, and a person next to him dies. Is that a silent but deadly? <laughs> Bang. I mean, he's getting y'all done. No? no? Okay, all right, whatever. All right. Um, if you have your mind on your money and your money's on your mind, how do you pay attention? All right, whatever. All right. Hey, my name is Selwyn. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I grew up in the country and my grandfather, I knew this man and I used to look at him when we watch out in the farmland because he lived out in the country. And I noticed something because every time I would look off in the distance, his eye would be swimming around, right? And so I'm like, man, something's different. So, and while I was coming up to the country, he would always be like, hey, hey boy, sit your ass still. He like, the flies won't bother if you don't bother them flies. And I'm like, what kind of sense is that shit, right? And he's sitting here, and there's a fly roller skating the fuck around on his eye. So, um, I'm 39, and I'm just finding out that my grandfather had a glass eye. I said, like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, um, I asked my mom about it, and uh, she's like, um, oh, I said, the granddaddy lose his eye in the war because he was in World War II. And she said, mm, nah. I said, well, what happened? She said, oh, Bobby knocked it out. I said, excuse me? She said, oh, yeah, Uncle Bobby knocked it out. I said, well, why would you do that? She said, because Daddy was looking at his daughter. I said, what the fuck did you say? Hold on, man. She's like, because Daddy was looking at his daughter. I said, well, what did it happen? She said, well, Daddy was arguing with him. He said, well, he said, well what you going to do? And he, got, he grabbed a cast iron skillet. He picked up the skillet, and he picked up his leg, and he said, what you going to do, sucker? And my uncle threw a lamp at my grandfather and, I, and hit him in the eye. Knocked his eye out. I said, well, damn. Sometimes you gotta knock a nigga eye out, shit. Hey, you look at my daughter, I'm knocking your fucking eye out. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, that's how that goes. But, hey, that's real life. Um, recently, my mother, uh, I believe that she's fallen under the same impression as my, my grandfather. She was uh, a Marine Corps veteran. So she's very hard, but like with my, my, my kids, she's soft with them. She don't do the same things. She'll talk to them, she'll be like, hey, 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 come here, come, come here. She won't beat them. Like, I, I, I believe that she gave me the right discipline and she just looks at them like, hey, you want some candy? I'll take you to McDonald's. Anyway, the other day I come in the house and she looks and uh, she said, hey, Joe, you need to get away from the TV, you're a little too close. And uh, Joe didn't move. She said, Joseph, you heard me. I know you heard me. Joseph still didn't move. She said, hey, Joe, I told you to move. So now my daughter comes out of the kitchen and she's like, mm. And so um, somebody passes by and she's like, oh, you don't hear me? She grabs him and it's my son, Kobe. And he's my like, grandma. So uh, yeah, my son, Joseph was like, uh, what? Now my son, Joseph was a little special. He uh, left-handed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, actually, I think he believes he's the second coming of Christ because uh, I always was like, Jesus, Joe, right? And I always say this to him. So one day he asked me, he said, Daddy, can uh, I play the Xbox? And I said, look, man, um, if you come in here with some good grades, I'll let you play the Xbox. Damn, if a week later he ain't come back with some good grades. I said, God damn. 
So uh, Joe comes back and I said, look, man, you can't play the Xbox. Um, if you clean up your room for a whole week, I'll let you play the Xbox. The next week he cleaned up the whole house. Um, he was making his bed. I'm like, shit, I don't want to let this boy play the Xbox because I got a good record, man. And I'm trying to make sure my Call of Duty is up to par. Whatever, this guy wants to play the Xbox. So he comes in and he said, Danny, I really want to play the Xbox. I said, look, man, all right, tell you what. If you could pull off a miracle, I'll let you play the Xbox. He said, well, what kind of miracle? I said, if you could walk on water, I'll let you play the Xbox. He said, hmm, do you know this boy came back with a case of water, put it down, walked on top of it, and said, can I play the Xbox? Yes, Joe, because I believe in Jesus Christ and your sense of comedy. Uh, that's my time. My name is Selma Fisher. Y'all have a good time. Working out some new material. Thank you. One more time for Solo. I'll drop those first ones. Okay.